I want to title this, The Day an Angel Came to Take My Mama to Jesus. It was September 11th, my sister called and said, I don't think it's going to be long. I think you need to come and say goodbye to mama. I, um, it was nine o'clock that morning, that evening I got a flight out. I arrived at my mama's, or my mama was staying at my sister's house at 9.30 a.m. September 12th. She recognized me, but she was very unresponsive, didn't, couldn't really talk much. But I want, this is what I want to share with you, how good God is. I asked God, I want to be at my mama's side when she takes her last breath. It was... My sister and I stayed at her side the whole time. It was the following day, September 13. My, um, I was left alone with her. My sister and her daughter left the room to deal with something. And I was standing over my mama. I was scratching her head. I was standing on, on her left side. I was scratching her head. Now, before I tell you this next, I have to tell you this. The whole time, for two days now, almost two days, we sat by her side. She never moved her head. She never moved her legs. She moved a little bit her hands, but that's it. The whole time. All of a sudden, I'm up standing above her on her left side, and her right hand just comes up like from the elbow up, straight up. And I'm looking like, what was that? But I noticed that her eyes were very wide open. Now in two days by sitting by her bed, her eyes barely opened. Stayed open for a little bit and then they'd close again. But her eyes were wide open. I mean, I can see it in my head right now. And then all of a sudden, she turned her head to the right. She had not turned her head or moved her head in two days. That was the moment an angel came to take my mama to Jesus. God revealed that to me. She saw the angel. He reached for her. She she reached for him. Her eyes got very big when she saw him or her. I'm not sure. And, um, and then she turned her head. And at that moment, she stopped breathing. At that moment, her spirit left her and she went to be with Jesus. I thought this would encourage someone out there. God loves you. God answers your prayers. And God can comfort you like no one can comfort you.